Blood, Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but only lean on Jesus' name. On Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand, all other ground is sinking sand. Happy Sabbath, children, and welcome to another Sabbath day, a day that the Lord sanctified and set aside and commanded man that on six days you will be engaged in other activities, but on this special day you will take a rest and worship God. To this morning, this Sabbath morning, we are having a panel from Primary B uh, who will be doing a presentation uh, for us today. And with me on my right, I have... Raphael Mamba. And on the immediate right, I have... Edgar Otieno. Ah, and the only lady in the house today is... Maria Muma. Uh, thank you, and um, shine for Jesus. Uh, before we pray, uh, before we start off, can Miriam uh, give us a word of prayer, please? Let's have a word of prayer. Oh, Lord, thank you for the gift of Sabbath. Thank you for the gift of life and salvation, and thank you for bringing us to church. Guide us and forgive us our sins. Help us to be good boys and girls. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you and shine for Jesus. And Edgar, can you remind us, what is our memory verse for today? Our memory verse for today is Romans 10 verses 17. And it says, so then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Uh, shine for Jesus. And we've been looking at uh, Paul's missionary uh, journeys. Uh, Raphael, where was Paul last Sabbath? Last Sabbath, Paul was in Ephesus. But there was a riot because Demetrius felt that Paul was ruining his idol-making business. But luckily, the city clerk controlled the people. Ah, thank you. Yes, through the working of the Holy Spirit, the city clerk um, intervened and controlled the people. And so the riot was controlled. Um, Mariam, what are we learning today? Today, yeah. today our, our memory, our story is Acts chapter 20, verse 1 to 12. Yes, it's on Acts chapter um, 20, verses 1 and to 12. And we are looking at the journeys of Paul. Paul uh, coming from um, Ephesus is going to Macedonia. And um, where did Paul go after that? Well, Paul went to Greece and stayed there for three good months. Ah, Paul went there to Greece and stayed for three months. Paul is a missionary, so he's traveling from place to place are presenting the word of God, a teaching of people. Now, Paul in, intended to go to Syria from Greece, and, um, but he learned that there was a plot against him. So he detoured, went back to Macedonia, and uh, went to Philippi on his way to uh, Troas. And with Paul were seven disciples who were assisting and helping him. Um, who knows who they were? Can you tell us if... Yes. yes. Timothy, Etikas, and Trophimus. Uh-huh. That were three. Yes, Edgar. Aristarchus and Secundus. Ah, shine for Jesus. And Sopata, Sopata the, son, the son of Pyrrhus from Berea, and Gaius from Debe. Ah, great, Raphael. And sign for Jesus, all of you are children for remembering the seven disciples of, uh, of, of, who were assisting uh, Paul. Um, so Paul uh, went on and went to Troas. Um, who, who remembers how long he stayed in Troas? Yes? He stayed there for seven days. Yes, he stayed there for seven days, teaching and encouraging them. Then um, uh, on the first day of the week, Paul and his disciples came together to break bread. And the next day he was to move on, travel, as he was a missionary, always traveling, always on the road and preaching. And so on this day, he 
was preaching and teaching them and encouraging them. Um, who remembers? Up to what time? How long was the, was, did the preaching go on? Yes. He preached until midnight. Ah, he preached until midnight. And so, um, Raphael, I'm not sure if you remember anything about the midnight prayer. Someone? Did you? Yes, I remember. There was a young man. Mm -hmm. His name was Eutychus. He was seated by the windowsill. He started dozing off as Paul preached. Ah, so he was dozing off at Paul preached. Um, yeah, I think there was more. There was something even more dramatic than that. Yes, uh, Maria. As Paul kept talking, Eutychus sank into a deep sleep, and mm -hmm. he fell down from the window and, and died. Ah, wow. That was sad. Eutychus fell down from the window where he was sitting and, uh, and died. Mm -hmm. So Paul rushed down to where Eutychus was. I, I wonder what happened. Did Paul cry? Yes, Edgar. What, what happened? Yes, Paul cried. When, when they went downstairs, Paul, Paul, Paul fell on him hmm? and, uh, to, and put his hands around him. Yes. After he put his hands around him, Good. he said, Uh -huh. Paul put his hands around uh, Eutychus, embraced him, and what, what, what did Paul say? Yes. Paul said, do not worry, yes. for his life is still in him. Yes, Paul said he's alive. Um, through being, being filled by the Holy Spirit and trusting in God, Paul declared Eutychus alive. Ah, so I think that must have been so sad. I think they just packed up and said, no, we've had enough for today, let's go home. Is that what happened? No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What happened? They went back, they went back to the third, third floor and had their Holy Communion. Ah, they went back to the third floor and continued on. Uh, Paul, uh, uh, together with them, had Holy Communion. Uh, and I, I think that, what do you think, Raphael? After that, they would have just said, you know what? Enough. Uh, even fell down. Yes. Not <laughs> quite. The, Paul continued preaching until early morning. It was a whole night of worshiping, <coughs> of preaching and worshiping God. Ah, whole night of preaching and worshiping God. Edgar, you want to make, make a comment? Yes. Yes. Tell tell I us. I wanted to say the same thing that Raphael was saying. Yeah. Go ahead. Tell us again. Ah, uh, when. When Paul came, when Paul came, mm. when, thank you, and they shine for Jesus. So they, um, Paul went on preaching. Um, after the Holy Communion, Paul preached, and he preached till morning. And on the morning, it was time for him to move on. But the people were really uh, comforted, and they were encouraged. And so, Eutychus was taken home, and he was taken home alive in the morning. What a great day. What a mighty God that we, that we serve. Right? What a mighty God that we serve. Um, Mariam, you seem to be having a comment. What do you want to tell us? I have, I have landed that. We, we should, we sh that God heals. Ah, you've learned that God heals. Uh -huh. Edgar, did you have a lesson from this? Yes. Yes, tell us. Uh, we should have faith with God, in God. We should believe in God. And that God is the three in one. That means that God is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Ah, shine for Jesus. Raphael, do you have any take home um, from this? Yes, I do. I learned that we should trust in God, just like Paul trusted in God to bring Eutychus back to life. Ah, shine for Jesus. Yes, I've also uh, learned some lessons. One of them is that we can also be missionaries like Paul, that we can be able to take uh, the word of God to 
different parts of the world to different people, even if you are starting um, small by talking to our neighbors about God. But I also learned something uh, from Utica. You know, um, we are told that uh, our attention span in primary is about, what, 30 minutes only? We can increase it. We can get involved. We can do notes, isn't it? What yes. else can we do? Yes. We can draw what the pastor is teaching. Yes, Maria. We can write what the pa pastor is te teaching yes. about. And also, we can write the verse that the pastor is going to be preaching. Yes. So we serve a mighty God. That's what we learned as well. So, my God, God is so big, so strong, and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do for me. My God is so big, so strong, and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do for you. Um, Raphael, can you give us a word of prayer? Let's bow our heads for a word of prayer. God, thank you for the Sabbath. Thank you for allowing us to tell about Paul's work for you. Forgive our sins and help us to be like Paul. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. Amen. Thank you, our children. And uh, that's all for today's Sabbath. Primary B has been presenting part of Paul's missionary journeys. And we learned from Acts. Acts 18. Acts 19. And Acts 20. Just in part of Paul's missionary journeys. And for now, um, till next Sabbath. Bye. Bye.